In this video, we are going to be taking a device that is running Lineage OS or really any custom ROM, even Ubuntu Touch, and returning it to Oxygen OS. You might have requested this for the OnePlus 6T, but I gave that device away to a friend, so I'm going to simulate it here on the OnePlus 3. I know it's a very different device, but the process can be quite the same. It is interesting to note that actually the UB Ports Ubuntu Touch installer has an option to return the OnePlus 3 to Oxygen OS. So if you do have a OnePlus 3, that might be your easiest way of doing that. But I'm showing the steps here in case you have a different device or you just want to do it this way. If there are any major differences, I'll try to note that in the video. So the first thing we need to do is download TWRP recovery. This is what I find in most tutorials to install these custom ROMs. So go to the TWRP website, type in the device you're looking for, and download the appropriate recovery image. So this image will allow us to flash the recovery bit on the phone so that we can install these custom ROMs or original firmware ROMs. Next we want to download Oxygen OS. So actually on the OnePlus website you can download the most up-to-date zip file and that can be installed through Oxygen OS or in our case since we are on a custom ROM like Lineage OS we're going to have to flash it through TWRP and hence that's why we've been downloading that first. So if you go to the OnePlus website and click on support it will bring you to a page where you can download the software. So again, look for the device, OnePlus 6T, OnePlus 6. In our case, we're doing the OnePlus 3. But if you go there now, you'll be able to download Oxygen OS 10. Once 11 comes out, I don't think Oxygen OS 10 will be available on this website again. So you might want to download that early in case you're hoping to roll back your device. That said, there may be some issues with going back. I found this page on XDA forums, which has a lot of ROMs for Oxygen OS for the OnePlus 6T, which should help you to go back if necessary and you'd want to download these signed flashable zips. The instructions are there and I'll put it in the links below. Failing that, there is an option to use this MSM tool, which should kind of do everything for you in theory. I used it on a OnePlus 8 to restore it and that worked pretty well. So. Try this tutorial first. If that doesn't work, I'll also put the links to that MSM tool page for the OnePlus 6T. But for the OnePlus 3, this should work alright. So you also want to look at the lineage instructions again. I think they're pretty good. They talk about how to flash recovery specific for your device 
It's uh, there's a slight variance between the one plus three and one plus six T on the command that you would have to type. And then once you've done that, you can load the zip file that we've downloaded for Oxygen OS through ADB side load. Again, following the lineage instructions basically to factory reset, format the data partitions just so that there's a clean state for the new ROM to be installed on. So here is my OnePlus 3, it is running Lineage OS. If you've got that far to a custom ROM, then we're assuming you know how to enable USB debugging and to use ADB, fast boot commands, etc. If not for some reason, remember we have to enable developer mode by tapping on the build number a few times and then enabling USB debugging, which helps. And on some devices, you have to first unplug the USB and then plug it back in for the computer to recognize the device. And then you accept it. So at this point, we can use the fast boot commands to boot into the bootloader, but it doesn't really matter as long as you can boot to the bootloader either using the hardware buttons or the fast boot command. But that's the first step once we've downloaded the recovery image and the Oxygen OS ROM, we want to boot into the bootloader. And here it's already unlocked, obviously, because that's required for Lineage OS. After installing Oxygen, you can actually relock the bootloader if you like. You might want to do that. So here we're typing in the command to flash the recovery partition. And again, it, look at the exact command for your device through the Lineage OS installation. Then boot into recovery and we'll see that we will be in TWRP. So once in TWRP, we can do this ADB side load to flash Oxygen OS. But again, I didn't show it in the video, but you might want to wipe the factory, do the factory data wipe thing first, and then do ADB side load to flash the Oxygen OS. And it should take a little while here. Once that's done, I actually recommend going back to wipe and factory wipe then. It clears the cache, etc. and then you can reboot the system. So it's really quite simple if you can follow these steps. If there are any problems, then let me know. I have come across a few problems where the ADB side load would not send the file, so I had to format the data partition with a different file system. It was on a, a wrong file system, or it wasn't decrypting when it was already decrypted. So just make sure that you can get into TWRP and everything is unencrypted, you might have to enter your password to get in. In this case, I didn't have one. And as in the other videos I mentioned, sometimes this first boot can take quite a while. 
and I'm going to show you the full length here in this video, so just bear with it. But in this case, it will boot, and it takes quite a few minutes. There it is finally booting into Oxygen OS. Everything is restored pretty much to the factory state. Again, if you want to relock the bootloader for some reason, you can go back into Fastboot, do the command Fastboot OEM lock, but pretty much straightforward like this for most of the OnePlus devices. So again, in summary, you want to get to fastboot, flash, TWRP, and then side load Oxygen OS.
Let me know if you have further questions or comments below, and I can try to help you out. Thanks again for watching, and I appreciate the subscriptions.